Hello and welcome to episode 13 of Tap Ninja 100% Achievement Journey. Today we'll get our black belt quite a lot of achievements, way more than I expected. And I guess I'll stop talking about these 2-3 to three minute ascensions because this one will be really really long. And I'll do something I've been wanting to do for a while. So that means there's going to need to be a black belt taekwondo story at the end of the video. Um, the draw that we did, the giveaway draw, was a huge success. In fact, last video was the video that had the most comments since my channel exists. Thank you so much for participating. And by the way, Omar, where are you? Four out of five people claimed their, uh, their prize. But Omar did not reach to me, so please Omar, just write a comment here. I'd like to meet you in Discord, but uh, if you have another avenue that you need to communicate from, please let me know. Okay, so it's going to be back to back to back to back to back achievements. As I predicted, and it was easy to predict, there's no challenge no more for now. So all you're going to see is stuff like that. But I expect to, to have more ascensions. But I really want to stretch this because I wanted to reach 10 million elixir to get the achievement. But then I stretched it even more because I wanted something else and then something else and then something else. So all these achievements, one of the advantage of stretching as I said in the past is I can get easy building achievements. Look at that, I got my 10 million. That means if I do that, I'm going to get an achievement and 10 million is pretty decent. Look at that, I got 5 times increase and I do the 25 times gold supplier. Been wanting to do it for a while. I decided to do it because I'm starting to accumulate amber. So that's pretty cool. It's going to be easy to get a lot of achievements related to buildings once again. And also, I wanted to clear tier 8. But I'm going to end up with some difficulties towards the end. Although with patience, I would have gotten it. So I'll take a drastic measure that includes spending some ember. So um, that's what you see here. It's just me getting, I'm going to fast forward some parts, of course, and jump cuts. I believe this is times 10. Yes, it is. So I'm just moving forward here, waiting to get more achievements. And um, what did I want to say again? Oh, hey, we reached 1 million views on the channel. Just in case you didn't know, I made a special video about it. And we're about to reach a second anniversary. Also, I'll make a special montage like I did last year. So stay tuned. I am back for now. Uh, the family situation is not fully resolved, so I may have to leave again, unfortunately. But it's not certain. So I'm going to continue my routine as normal. And I'll keep you posted. I will not leave you in the dark. Sitting there. Expecting video and wondering why nothing is going on. As you can see 22 million. Elixir I just doubled. I'm going to go higher than this. So this is nice. Times 5 and the times 25 combined once again. And a bunch of achievements. Very smooth. Um, did not hit the wall in this game yet. I don't have that many hours yet. Maybe I'll try to check it out when we look at my stats at the end of the video. I don't know how much time I have in this game. But so far so good. And I'm looking forward to see the implementation of the roadmap. What's next again? Is it pets? I don't remember. I think it's episode 5 that talks about the roadmap for this game. And now we have access to tier 9. Let's take a look. Fireflies drop 1% more coins. That's good. And then we have a increase income by 1.5%. That's good. Shield bearer 0.25 for each upgrade. It seems to be a lot. But look at that 0 0.005. So I hope there's a lot of levels for this. It's going to take a long time to get the tier 9. And tier 8 is really getting expensive right now. But I still have 7 minutes and a half for my times 25. And I saw this swarm 
But unfortunately, first of all, I did not have my Shuriken Vortex because I use it all the time. Trying to get kills, you know, for achievements. And uh, I didn't get anything very attractive. Nothing spectacular. See, I don't have any multiplier for coins or maybe um, gems or even the times 5 or times 51 would have been really nice anyways I didn't get it and now here I'm just trying to get even more achievements because I knew I was close uh, close to my black belt here I need 10 quatuor decillion and I got two and it's really really tedious so I'm gonna try to farm for a while but I'll lose patience because I really wanted to I wasn't mad or anything but <laughs> oh, by the way I was trying to get this I will get this but I couldn't find the footage I will get it later I will get those 6,000 buildings but eventually I said look I, I gotta release this video today or tomorrow in fact 6.8 QTDC but I decided to make a move here I got 951 amber and I got 32 million elixir and I decided, well, I had, this is where I'm thinking, by the way, but maybe you'll anticipate while I'm pointing to it. Yes, I'm going to do a perfect ascension. Why? Because now I can increase my income by buying stuff in the elixir shop or the uh, uh, ascension shop, such as this, 40% more income, which will enable me to finish tier 8. I wanted to do it. Why? I don't know. Just some milestone for this video and get to already have my, uh, no, I don't have my black belt yet, but I'm about to get it. But I will go beyond that because I'll get a few more achievements slowly towards the first dam. So max step increased by two. I had to think for a second. I said, would I really reach 20? Because I knew there was an achievement for that as well, you know. So here I'm just trying to decide which direction to go to. I've got 26 million. If you look on the left, 26 million left. I got 32 million percent income increase. Once again, it's based on the highest, the highest um, ascension you ever did. And right now, you see, I got 69,000 percent. The advantage of what I just did, which cost Amber, is I continue to push the uh, income bonus from Ascension. So here's an achievement for getting a certain amount of upgrades in Ascension. Lavender, use this because there's no purple belt. This ain't BJJ, I guess, or other martial arts. Okay. So. What else did I get? I'm trying to remember here. Critical hit multiplier plus one. So this is for getting blue gems probably. I think there's diamonds too. I don't think I've ever seen diamonds. Eventually I'll make a decision because there's almost 8 million for those two extra steps. So I said, yeah, I'm going to go for the 20 steps. Now I have to maintain that for two minutes without using energy it's not very difficult to do to be frank maybe i messed up once or twice but nothing too spectacular you'll see me getting that achievement and then what else there isn't much left now of course if i ascend right now i can get those things on the right but i want to push so forget about as i said those two to three minute ascensions for a while and then here i'm just gonna burn whatever is left on this element of void not bad and here's a rainbow one increase five times and there you go tier 8 is now done I really wanted to do this nice now I can focus on tier 9 until next ascension at least and here I'm manually hitting mobs trying to survive for two minutes without losing step and there we go this is where I get my black belt I'm gonna tell you my black belt story very soon. In fact, uh, first of all, I had to find the right die. I wanted to wear black, but remember, shield bearers drop it, and unfortunately, they never did. I'm not sure which character I'll use in the future. You're gonna see me struggle here. This is so important, right? This most important thing is the 
aesthetics. So what do I do here? I'm no longer a brown belt. Is there something dark at least? No. So I was like, this is not fair. What do I do? So I decided to switch characters. Here I'm looking, by the way. I got a uh, shield bearers and the other colors are the other mobs. I think I'm gonna click on it. Why not? I don't care about the other colors. I just want black. So I started looking at this one. Looks cool. I went with this one. I mean, she has. Uh, it's the highest character I can have. She does have black gloves, at least. Those are pretty black, anyway. <laughs> Who cares? And anyway? it's just for fun. But I'm gonna keep that character until I get that black die and go back to the one that I bought for real money. So now I'm gonna get a few achievements. You're gonna see them on your own. But I left space for my Black Bell story. Now, um, I'll talk about my exam. That's because, at least in Taekwondo, I'm gonna focus only on the martial art that I did. When you get your Black Bell, you start at first down right away. I saw on YouTube a video where there was an extreme exception where a person was a black belt temporarily with Dan Zero did his test, then it got then he got his first Dan. Couldn't find it. I wanted to put it in the description down below. I got frustrated and I couldn't find it. But that's not the norm. The norm is you do your test, your first Dan. So next pack of achievements, I'm gonna get the first Dan in this game. Then I'll tell you what I did as a first Dan black belt. Hence the exam. So let's talk about the exam. I don't know how quick I can explain this, but our grandmaster came from Montreal. The exam was at my school. My master, I'm 99% sure my instructor was now four degree black belt, hence master. We called him Sabunim. And people would call me Sabun, which means instructor. So I was extremely nervous. It was at the end of the year 2000. I was 19 years old. As I said, I took a break. I could have gotten it maybe a bit earlier if I didn't take that break, but hey, college had priority, right? So I was more than ready, but I remember I felt like I was gonna die. That's how stressed out I was. One of the source of stress was there was supposed to be another master from a rival school with two of the people I trained with. Remember when I talk about the season team among the best Taekwondo practitioners in Quebec City, second degree black belts, both of them. I was still a red belt with black stripe. I was not a black belt yet. I was gonna be the same day, but I needed to prove myself. Those were so good and I didn't know their game too much, right? Because I trained with them, but not that much. They're super skilled. I was not gonna fail, but it would have been super difficult. I was so nervous to fight them. I think I needed to do two fights. But you know what? They never showed up. So I ended up fighting two of my sparring partners who I knew really well. My fights went super well. So I don't remember the order, but there was uh, techniques where you just do the whole repertoire of kicks. Okay, the only kick I had difficulty with was the spinning back kick because I never was very flexible. And this is something I needed to do for my second degree uh, black belt, which we'll talk about. I don't want to give away too much, uh, but flexibility was never my forte. Anybody who knew me, uh, we joked about it. I had the supremely minimum flexibility enough to kick people in the face but I had to really lower my body so much and it was ugly but I would be able to kick people in the face but the spinning back kick was really difficult for me so all I did is a back kick in the face I probably failed that kick but the rest was perfectly fine my technique was actually pretty good it's just uh, the spinning back kick was bad okay there was this then there was Pumse Pumse would be uh, like Kara but you know my uh, instructor, well, my master now, never really believe in that stuff too much. There's Scarlet Belt, Pumse, we never did those. The bare minimum is one Pumse per degree on the Black Belt. So all I had to do is learn one, 
practice it, memorize it, practice it, and then I just executed it. Everything went fine. Then there was board breaking. I was very frustrated because I, I had a team of people holding the boards and uh, at the last minute some cancelled. There was even a, I have nothing against white belts, but the guy was brand new and I had to explain to him how to hold really at the last minute, how to hold these half inch, I believe a spine and uh, the grain has to be in the right direction and all. But a couple of times, the person instead of just holding it and resisting as I kick, would flinch and absorb the, the damage. So uh, I was very angry with this, but it's okay. It went okay, um, but it would have been better with my original team. Then self-defense. I think I mentioned in the past that I studied in law enforcement, so we learned hand-to-hand -hand combat. I remember doing an armbar and a kimura. So it's just a um, routine that you create, and then you go in front of the panel, you explain what you're gonna do, then you execute it, demonstrate the technique. I don't remember how many I did that, but I do remember doing those two techniques that are very popular in MMA now today. So I think that's it. So technique, boards, fighting, pumse, self-defense. Yeah. So it took hours and then we went in a room and we drank champagne with my master and grandmaster and said, you are now a black belt. And this is only the beginning. And then he announced, I don't remember the order, but he gave me my black belt and all my first then adventure started. We'll talk about this in the next set of achievements. All right, I think it's time to finish this video. And guess what? There you go, Gigapolis. Here's our 6,000 buildings. I didn't know it was at the very end. So we're going to look at stats here. And I want to see how much time in I have. Let's see if I scroll too fast. I think I still have the same crit chance that I had before. Let's see. 3% yeah and I want to see if I can be fast enough. 358 achievements. Yeah yeah yeah. 21 hours. That's it. All I put is 21 hours of active gameplay. That's nothing. Challenge all done. Energy is done. Speed step is done. Buildings will close. 358. So I don't know how next episode will look like. I don't know how long it will take me to get the first Dan level of achievements. So stay tuned. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please hit thumbs up and leave a comment below. If you want to support this channel, you can subscribe and hit the notification bell to make sure you don't miss future videos. Thank you for watching and see you next time.